Hi family, this is Scrapbook Boxing. Let's continue with the Museum of the Forgotten Fisticuff series with the Black Yulin, Max Schmeling. Let's take a look at his career. Max Schmeling. He was born in Klein, Lukowa, Germany, September 28, 1905, and was Christian Maximilian Schmeling. He was six foot one inches and scaled 195 pounds. Max Mulling won the middleweight and light heavyweight championships in Germany as an amateur before turning professional in 1924. He won the world heavyweight title on a foul from Jack Sharkey in a final elimination bout. This is a tournament that was created when Gene Tunney relinquished his title. They had a tournament. Max Melling and Jack Sharkey was in that tournament. It was held at Yankee Stadium in 1930 and lost it to Sharkey at the Garden Bowl in 1932 and 15 rounds. On June 19, 1936, Smelling knocked out Joe Lewis in the 12th round at New York City, thereby placing himself in line for a title bout. He subsequently was knocked out in the first round. During his career, he faced Opponents such as Palomino Uskadon, Jack Sharkey, Max Baer, Joe Lewis, Johnny Risco, Mickey Walker, Young Stribling, and Steve Hamus. He was the Ring Fighter of the Year in 1930. He turned professional in 1924, had four successful uh, victories in 1924. October 30th, Max Dekerman, Berlin, killed him in four rounds. He lost on a foul December 26th. In 1925, his first loss was Jack Taylor. That was May 9th. 10 round loss. He's KO by Larry Gans. Very good African American heavyweight. August 28th. July 26th. He won all his opponents. One draw with Max Deckerman. 1927. Defeated all of his opponents. Majority were chaos. November 6th. He won the European light heavyweight title. By a seven round knockout. And December 2nd. He avenged his loss with Gypsy Daniels. 10 round victory. And continue to knock out his opponents. December 2nd, Gypsy Daniels. Another victory for Max Schmeling. 1928, February 25th, Gypsy Daniels knocked out Max Schmeling in one round. April 4th, Franz Deniers in Berlin, 15 round victory, earned him a heavyweight title of Germany. 1929, February 1st, he killed Johnny Risco in New York. June 27th, Paulino Uskadon, Madison Square Garden, 15 round victory. 
1930, June 12th, Jack Sharkey, Madison Square Garden. He won on a foul in four and won the vacant World Heavyweight Championship. 1931, July 3rd, he got a 15-round KO of Young Stribling in Cleveland, Ohio. That was a title bout. 1932, June 21st, Jack Sharkey, Long Island, of the Long Island Bowl. He lost the heavyweight title in 15 rounds. September 26th, he killed Mickey Walker in eight rounds in Long Island. 1938, or 1933, June 8th, Max Bear. New York City, he lost by a 10-round knockout. 1934, February 13th, Steve Hamish, Philadelphia, he lost in 12 rounds. May 13th, Paulino Escadon in Barcelona, 12-round draw. August 26th, Walter Nussel, Hamburg, 8th-round KO. 1936, June 19th, Joe Lewis, New York City, 12 round KO. 1937, December 14th, that year, Harry Thomas, New York City, 8th round KO. 1938, June 22nd, Joe Lewis, New York City, he was knocked out in one brutal round for the World Heavyweight title. Joe Lewis got his revenge. 1970. Max Schmeling was elected to the Boxing Hall of Fame in 1970. With a record of total 70 fights, 39 KOs, 14 he won on a decision, 3 he won on a foul, 4 was a draw, five, he lost on a decision, zero, he lost on a foul, he was killed by five times, no decision, nothing, no contest, nothing. The Black Eulin, Max Melling. Salute to Max Melling.